Hello and welcome to the video. This time we're going to be having a look at creating a logo using Adobe Illustrator. If you want to do this at home, please see the Inkscape video, which is on the same channel. So we're going to create a logo. I've launched Adobe Illustrator, which you just get from the start menu. And first thing to do is I just need to create a new image. It doesn't particularly matter the settings here, it's just setting up the page size. There we are, and there is a new image. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take a photo. In this case, I've got this rather nice photo of a duck, and I'm going to copy that image, and then I'm going to paste it into here. So I select Edit and Paste. There we are, and let's just resize that. Now, we can zoom in by holding down the Alt key and using the mouse wheel to scroll in and out like this. The way I'm going to trace over this is I'm going to use some of the tools over here. However, I want to make sure that I'm not going to alter the original image. So, what I need to do is I need to create myself a new layer. So, if we have a look over here, there's our layers dialog. And we can turn layers on and off, like this, and we can also lock them in place. So, I'm going to lock this layer in place so we can't change it. And then, I'm going to create a new layer. And I'm going to rename this layer Trace, just like that. Okay, so now... What I can do is I can select one of the several tools from over here. Now, probably the easiest tool to use is a thing called the Blob Brush. And what we're going to do is we can draw with the Blob Brush like this. And when you let go of the mouse, you can see it neatens it up for you. If you select it using this tool, you can move it around and if you select it using the direct selection tool you can actually click on individual points and you can start changing the shape so first things first is i need to maybe create a blob for the nose so i'm going to create select the blob brush which is this one here and i'm going to change the color of the blob brush, maybe to this really dark brown. And you can see it's a little bit large there, so I can change the style to a smaller blob brush, like this, and I can go over it like that. Now you can see that's come out in white, Actually, we can change the color of that later on by clicking here, and we can change that to brown, just like that. And when we click off it, you can see there it is. We can also use Pencil Tool, and that's quite a nice tool for doing a nice long tracing line around the outside like this and you can see again it's made a shape you can use the direct selection tool to change it so oh, I picked up the whole thing there by accident so I click on the anchor point once and then I can move it in and I can change the angle that it goes through that point in and again I can click on the anchor point and I can move that in because this is a shape, a path as it were, uh, because we've got this shape here, what I can do is I can effectively fill it in by using that. And you can see, again, we've got this effect of having it filled in. So I can use that to create the entire shape of the duck. I can also use the brush tool, which does a bit of a wider kind of uh, outline, like this. Uh, 
and I can just use that very very simply to create an outline of my duck which is more cartoony now the thing is we of course can see the image behind but if I take away the image behind you can see we've already got quite a passable cartoon duck and we can edit that so use the pencil tool to create shapes to be filled in use the brush tool to create big nice thick lines and you can change how thick those lines are and then if you want to create random shapes use the blob tool use the direct select tool afterwards if you want to change the color to something else if you want to change the outline you can do that here you put a line around it so it looks like that use the direct select tool to select an anchor click on the anchor and then you can move the anchor where you wish and create all sorts of interesting shapes have a play with the tools remember to get this layer set up properly down here and we will see what you can produce choose an animal of your own let's go